It is Valentine's Day week, and that means crunch time for those of you still looking for that perfect gift. All right, but despite what you might think, there's a new survey out that says men are actually the ones with higher expectations this year. It says we're expecting bigger and more expensive gifts than our female counterparts. Team Tolls Ryan Cody joins us live to see if that's true, and if so, why? Yeah, just leave it to millennials to turn the traditional thinking upside down, right? Yeah, not even Hallmark could have predicted guys would be the ones expecting more from Valentine's Day than girls. But welcome to 2019, where a survey, at least, shows the changing landscapes of relationships. The landscape of love might be shifting this Valentine's Day. We bought our own tickets, but then yeah. he bought dinner and I bought dessert. Yeah. So. It's a real modern day couple right here. <laughs> we do our best. Dating in 2019, what a time to be alive, where a bank rate survey shows men have higher expectations for Valentine's Day gifting than women, not only giving more, but expecting more in return. I'm not surprised they have a higher expectation on themselves. I'm a little surprised that they also have the higher expectation the other way too. That gap between men and women is changing. No surprise to psychologist Farah Hawkey, who says this is not your grandparents' Valentine's Day anymore. The women are making more and women empower men, and so I think that men are feeling like they also want that uh, reciprocated from their partner. Chivalry isn't dead, it's just on life support. They're always expecting so much that now we're like, let's, uh, let's expect things back. Then we could put a picture of it online, forcing everyone else to step up their game one picture at a time. What well, used to be a private holiday between two people that were in love now is all over the internet. Thanks, internet. People are constantly posting and updating their statuses and kind of trying to outdo each other. And I think that consciously or unconsciously, we see that and we want to outperform. We want to keep up with the Joneses. Valentine's Day 2019, the Hallmark holiday not even Hallmark saw coming. The National Retail Federation believes that lovers will spend more than $20 billion this year on Valentine's Day. That's billion with a B. That would narrowly top the record from 2016, which was about $19.7 billion. Well, you know how they always ask, what do women want? Mm. What do men really want for Valentine's Day? Exactly. I don't know. I mean, I'd like it to go away, personally, <laughs> if, I, if I could ask a genie for a wish. Uh, but the interesting thing here is that of this super scientific survey, they did this on the phone, you know, <laughs> kind of how they got those election surveys. But uh, they did that on the phone and found out that men expect women to spend about $211 <laughs> on them, while women only expect men to spend about 150 which is still more, Listen, in my aside opinion. Aside from going out to dinner, having uh, some wine or whatever, what what would you give a guy for Valentine's Day? This is a family show, Mark. Oh, I see. How, <laughs> I see what you did there. I didn't do anything. So <laughs> tonight, yes you did. We're asking, <laughs> how much are you expecting to spend this year? Do you plan on keeping your cash, spending less than 100, more than 100, or do you, oh, not have a Valentine? 